OAuth tools is great for testing different OAuth and OpenID Connect flows. By default, OAuth tools has a security playground loaded in it. This is essentially a security server that supports several different flows. And as we can see here, on the left hand side, we have a couple of pre configured flows already. And in the middle, we have the uh, actual information of the flow. And on the right hand side is the result of the flow. In this case, we have a JOT token flow where we can choose what kind of token that we're looking at and we can see the decoded token on the right hand side. Now let's take a look at the code flow. The first part here is the configuration of the redirect URI. So this is just telling us that we have to configure our client on the security side to allow redirect to this specific URI. On the right hand side here, we can get more details of this specific flow. And this is true for any flow that we try to run here in OS tools. This flow is by default set up to request the OpenID profile and read scope. There are further settings to be made. Um, for example, we can select a specific ACR. Uh, we can select locale. Um, several other parameters like enforced login, for example. If we scroll down, we can run this flow. Uh, we're using frames here, and we can see the URL that gets triggered to start this flow. When we hit run, we get an authenticator here. John Doe is fine to authenticate with. And we can now see the response we got from the server. But OAuth tools has made this easier for us to consume. So we have the code displayed here. We can also choose to auto redeem the code in the future if we want to. And then we have the second post that we need to do where we send the code and redeem it for tokens. So we can click redeem here. And now we have an access token, a refresh token, and an ID token. And we can also see the decoded ID token or the decoded job. We can expand the server response to actually see the raw data that the server responded with. And this corresponds to the information on the right hand side as well. There's a possibility to introspect the tokens, but this client that we're using does not allow introspection. However, there's another introspect flow that could be done or that could be used to introspect. But we can also configure our code flow here to use a separate client for introspection. We have a demo gateway client that can perform introspection. And now that we've configured that, we can see the introspect button is enabled and we can introspect the access token directly in the code flow. In looking at the introspect flow itself, we can from here also choose the tokens from other flows. And here's our access token. And with this specific flow and client, we can also introspect. The result is obviously the same because we're introspecting the same token. Just like before, we can also get the raw server response. Other flows, uh, the refresh token flow, for example, here in the drop down, we only get refresh tokens um, listed for us. We can choose this one from before and refresh that. And now we get a new access token and a new refresh token. Another handy feature is that we can, for the ID token here, we can click a button here to create a new JOT flow. So this will open up the ID token in a new JOT token flow where we can 
select what type of token it is. It's an ID token. And now we can see the decoded token on the right. And we have a validation that the signature is valid for this token as well, or for this job. If we want to run OAuth and OpenID flows against our own security server, instead of using the playground, we can add this as an additional environment in OAuth tools. So we can add a new environment here. We can use Webfinger to discover the endpoints. This requires Webfinger to be enabled on the security server side. If I click discover here, the issuer, metadata, URL, and all additional endpoints here are automatically discovered. I'm going to rename my environment here to demo. If we now look at the details under scopes and claims, we have the scopes and claims that are exposed through the metadata information from my security server. So any changes on the security server side could um, imply changes here too. We also have the keys that are exposed. We can see the authentication methods that are enabled and available on the security server. This is the raw metadata that these different tabs essentially populate. And we can see the supported response types. Go back to clients. We don't have any clients, so we can create a new client here and this obviously have to correspond to what's configured on the security server side. I have a client that supports the code and implicit flow. I also have a separate client gateway that handles introspection. We can now use our new environment and try out um, a new flow. So click start flow. We've done the code flow already, so we can now instead try out the implicit flow. Again, we have the redirect URI that we need to configure. We can view a detailed guide of how the implicit flow works here. I can choose the client. Now we see that this is not my client and that's because we're still in the Curity Playground environment. I have to switch it to use my new environment that we named the demo. Now the www client is available. Choose that, leave everything else as default and then run the flow. I get several authenticators here because I have that configured. You can choose the username, for example, which is a username password authenticator. Logging in gets us back to OAuth tools and we can see we have an access token. Just like before, we can also see the detailed server response. Another interesting flow within OAuth tools is the call external API. So this is not an OAuth or OpenID connect flow at all. It's a flow that can be used to call any API endpoint. I have a test endpoint here, but the interesting part is whatever we want to do, we can choose our tokens from the collections. So this is tokens that we've received through other flows within OAuth tools. And here's the implicit flow access token that we just executed. So I can choose that from the dropdown list here, which will essentially add this token as a bearer token to the authorization header in the request that I'm sending to the external API. We can also add additional headers and query parameters. And when we send this, it now called this API and got some data back and we can see that the response is 200 success. And that concludes this overview of OAuth tools. As you can see, it's a really powerful and useful tool for testing OAuth and OpenID Connect flows. 
as well as different settings on your OAuth and OpenID Connect server.